Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the base Halevi on Avas Yisrael. Today we're starting the seventh chapter. Oid Averis Shahasina Garemes. More Averis, more transgressions. That hatred of another Jew engenders what it brings upon a person. And he writes, Gam Mevili De Loshin Hora Chamura. If you hate another Jew, it's going to bring you to Loshin Hora to speaking gossip evil speech and slander, which is chamura, which is very serious. Because through one's hatred, he will reveal the mumim, the blemishes and the shortcomings of his friend. When you hate somebody, can you see the good? No, you cannot. When you hate somebody, do you see the bad? Yes, you see all the bad, the negativity, all the faults of that person. And because that you hate them, you feel justified in being Megali and revealing that to anyone who is willing to listen to you. So someone who is entrenched in the, in the sin of sinas chinam, of hating a fellow Jew, is certainly not going to see the good. His eyes are going to be focused in on seeing the bad and finding the rotten areas of this person. You'll find any justification that you possibly can to be able to reveal that bad that you see. Forget about the fact that you yourself have so much negative traits and you yourself have so many faults and deficiencies and you yourself are certainly falling short of where you could be as an Oyvind Hashem, as a servant of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. That's for sure, as we are all falling short of what we're able to accomplish. But because that we have seen that we overlook our own faults, we look at ourselves as being the biggest tzaddikim in the world, who have done no wrong, and we only focus in and we hone in on the, on the faults and the shortcomings and the negative traits of the person that we are angry with and we are upset with. And that, says the Beis HaLevi, is a big problem because if you would just wipe out, uproot the sin from inside of yourself, you'd stop hating people. Uh, again, a lot of our hatred is truly unjustified because we're too... We're too makpid, we're too strict, we're too overbearing. We have too much of emotional anguish that's going on inside of us. We're too much caught up in ourselves and our own lives and our own world and worried about ourselves. We don't think about others. And therefore we look with hatred at another person. You're going to obviously see the band that is there. What are you going to do from that? You're going to speak Lashon Hara. Lashon Hara the Chavetz Chaim tells us, was the root cause of the Chorban Abayis, of the destruction of the Beis HaMikdash, because that they hated their fellow Jew. That's what it says in the Gemara, Sinas Chinam destroyed the Beis HaMikdash. It led them to speaking constant words of Lashon Hara about each other. And Lashon Hara is destructive. It's like a, a, the mouth is Moves Vechayim Biyad HaLashon. Death and life is in the hands of the tongue, which means that you have a lethal weapon inside of your mouth. You can use it to give chayim, to give life. You can praise a person. You can speak positively about them. You can speak nicely about them. You can say brachas and divetayra and all good things, and then your mouth gives life. Or it can be a maves, it can be a weapon of destruction, that it could destroy the world around it. Lush and horror destroys the world. What causes one Jew to speak badly about another Jew, Lush and horror? If you hate them. If you love the Jew, if you felt good about them, even if you were indifferent. Let's say that a person upset you and you're, you're bordering, you're teetering on Sina, but you know what? You say Sina is such a bad thing. I'm not going to allow that to creep into my, the way that I think about them. And so you remain indifferent. If that's how you feel, you won't speak Lush and horror. But when you are seething and writhing in hatred over another person, so the nature then is to bring about words of lush and horror, of gossip and evil speech, degrading comments about that person. And then Rahman al Islam, Rahman al Islam, you have now not only transgressed of the, the, the mitzvah of the after the Rechachamaycha, not only are you transgressing the prohibition constantly, hating your fellow Jew in your heart, you're now getting into the world of Lashon Har Vechilas, which destroys 
the base of Mikdash, and it destroys a person, and it destroys society, and destroys the world. Rahman al So we have to be so careful to try our best to uproot the Sinas Chinam from our hearts. Have a wonderful day.